Um, um, before you start recording, just um, do a shout out saying our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Nepal. Okay. Okay, ready? Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Monday night at, at the beat. First, a quick shout out um, our thoughts and prayers to uh, everyone in Nepal and the tragedy that's going on there. Um, so, what was our focus for tonight? Single axis turn. Single axis. Single axis turn was kind of the final product. Training called out. It turned into that. Where do we? How do we start? Right. What kind of turn? Open or closed embrace. Open. Open. Very open. And what was this? Someone said it. Trigger ball. Okay. So leaders are turning how? Pac-Man or? One foot. One foot heel. Kick in the heel. Heel around. Or if you want to get fancy, you could do crossing, but it wasn't really necessary in anything we did today. What kind of energy are we feeling from the leader followers when they are leading us? Pulling. 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 Pulling energy. Yeah, so what does that tell us, followers? We have to what? Hold on. We have to hold on. Yeah. And in general, how are we walking around our leaders? Followers. On the ground. Close. close towards our hips are close to them. Now, Even. what kind of steps are we making? Even. Even steps, short or long? Long. Depends on what Thank you, Carlos. I tried my, my <laughs> default walking technique is reaching long, transferring weight smoothly, and staying around my leader. That's why I'm always a little bit behind, so I can afford to reach long and stay around him. Okay, for the standard rhythm of the open and brace, is it single time or double time on the back step? Single time, right. In close and brace, it's different. It's usually the standard is a double time. Right. Um, now we added something fancy. What was the next level of fanciness before we got to the final product? A barida, right? And the barida is more of what? A perceived, like an actual thing or an illusion? Yeah, it's a pulling barida. It's a pulling barida. You're leading the turn, so it's more of an illusion. Although, when the follower feels your foot, what does she do? Does she freak out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what should the follower do when they feel your foot there? Keep contact. Enjoy the contact. And there might be even a little bit of what? Did anyone try that? Does it feel natural for you? The followers stay with that lift, okay? So followers, this really works your perfect turn because if you step where, what happens? Yes, our good. Ladies, you know, most of the time the followers are the most outspoken and we have trouble getting the leaders to talk. But today you I guys think it are only quiet. happens in the Bay Area. I notice that too. Okay. But whenever we're out of town, the, the followers are so vocal. Okay. Alessandra. <coughs> Um, and then we added the, the little bit of kolgaba without actually teaching the kolgaba. Um, and so what are we trying to do at that point? Once we get the first drag, leaders, how do we lead that kolgaba feeling? Yes, stepping around them and also preventing them from what? From stepping through, flying. Yeah, from putting all their weight on that forward foot. I mean, getting their hips over it. They're gonna put their weight on it but they're not going to transfer it over their head. Any anything else you learned today, Jared? Yeah, awesome. As you're stepping around to your left, if your right foot is next to the followers, it kind of slides in. We try to make this happen in general. How? Final dance. Yes, if we can.